Hey guys, it's Rob and I'm just making a short video to show you how to install this Afro um, USB programmer on a PC that is operating Windows 7. Go to Google and type in that. It's CP2102 USB to UART bridge controller. And what you will come up with is this website. When you go to this website, you need to scroll down and download that package okay so you'll see it works for XP Vista 7 8 etc now I've already unzipped that file and there it is there's the downloaded file and there's the unzipped package and it looks like that now what you then have to do is when you plug in the afro it will try to automatically find the drivers and it won't be able to do that so what you have to do is navigate to your control panel and depends on what view you've got you might have a different view here but basically then go to uh, what is it device manager click on that and you'll see a list of all the devices installed on your computer now if you come down to ports you will see something there now that's actually got the driver installed but before you install the driver it actually says something else and i'm sorry i can't remember exactly what it said but it'll look something like that i think it said cp2102 something something and there was a yellow icon there that meant the driver wasn't installed correctly what you have to do is right click on that and go update driver software so when you do that It'll give you an option, search automatically, or browse my computer for the driver software. So you need to go to this option, browse, and then you have to find where that driver is installed. So you just basically go through here, mine's on the desktop, it's in that folder, and click OK. So browse for the driver support, and then you go down to next. Okay, now it's showing that I've got the driver already installed, so it's not going to let me install it, but um, that's basically how you install it. It takes a few minutes, and uh, once it's installed, then in your device manager, you'll see that. Okay, and it's found it, uh, on COM port 14 on my computer. So now you can close that. I've previously installed this uh, KK Multicopter Flash tool. So then you need to go in and... Uh, my Windows 7 is a 64-bit version, so I'll click on 64 and run. Okay, there it is. Now, I've already selected that, so it's remembered, but um, it didn't actually default to that. It defaulted to... I think that one, the Turnigy one. Okay, so uh, yeah, basically select Afro, select COM port 14, which you uh, saw previously in the device manager. And then once again, same settings like in my other videos. I hope that's in focus. Help Mega 8 uh, base brushless ESC. And then you come down, you go to the file, look for it on the desktop. I think I've put it again. Uh, there it is, bsnfet.hex, open, and away you go. Connect up your uh, ESC and flash, and it should work. Um, I've got an ESC here, it's an Afro ESC, but I, I forgot to bring a, um, a battery. I'm in a hotel uh, 4,000 kilometers away from home, so uh, I can't really help you there. But anyway, I hope that uh, little video just helps you um, find the right drivers and uh, gets the, um, the Afro USB uh, programming tool working on your Windows computer. Thanks for watching.